is up guys welcome back to life on the wrist today we're going to be talking about the swiss watch export numbers from january of 2020 the swiss watch exports started off really well um they didn't they weren't affected by the coronavirus um that has kind of plagued the, the general markets um, for a couple of months now um so we're going to get dive into some of the numbers take a look at how the results um, kind of panned out for swiss watch exports and also kind of um, compare it to what happened last month, um, what how we ended 2019, and what we think is going to happen in the future. Um, so, just to recap, <clears throat> December 2019 was a good year for Switch, a good month for Swiss watch exports. At the end of the year, on a good note for uh, Switzerland, they saw uh, rises in in general um, in general watch exports by um, uh, by about I think it was about 4.8 percent. Um, which was a positive result for them, which is which is obviously a great thing. I'm sorry, I'm just going to pull up um, the article that we wrote about it. Uh, so, uh, you know, positive results for them. Sorry, up they were up 5.8%, uh, um, led mainly by uh, wristwatches. Other products that were sold by Swiss watch companies were actually down by about 5%. Um, so the you know, overall the Swiss watch exports rose about 2.4% year over year <clears throat> if you look at 2019 compared to 2018. So December kind of ended the year on, on a good foot. Um, what was seen though was that watches over 3,000 Swiss francs um, went up in value as well as units sold uh, year over year, but watches underneath that um, kind of 3,000 Swiss franc uh, threshold uh, saw a negative result, <clears throat> negative results, which, um, which kind of, uh, you know, kind of throws things off a little bit. So definitely led by higher dollar watches. Um, again, the year ended on a strong note when it came to the Asian markets. Asian markets really led the way when it came to um, when it came to uh, the exports. So um, I'm gonna make sure I put up all the graphs that we have for the the um, uh, for what we're gonna be discussing today. So I'm gonna look at the monthly analysis. Um, so obviously the year started off really well um, for Swiss watch, watch exports, like I said in 2020. Um, <clears throat> exports were equivalent to 1.8 billion uh, Swiss francs, which was a 9.4% increase. If you look at um, 2019, uh, January 2019 exports versus December, uh, January 2020 watch exports, it was up 9.4%, so really positive results there. Wrist watches were up 10%, uh, while other products were down by about 2%. So wrist watches definitely led the way when it came to, um, when it came to, uh, watch exports. If you look at the 12 month moving average, we moved up um, around 3%. So um, trending in a, a trending upwards, um, you, you know, from November, where we kind of hit hit that bottom. Um, December had positive results, January has positive results. Um, I'm curious to see what ha happens to that 12 month moving average, though, especially with the effects of the coronavirus and the main markets that really are affected by um, that have been affected by this disease are huge markets when it comes to watches. But that's besides the point, I'll discuss that a little bit later. So January, we're moving average went around 3%, which is really positive. Um, if you look at the wristwatches by price category, this was a really great um, great part of this report was the fact that um, obviously like, like the previous month, um, watches above 3000 Swiss francs were up in both units and value. Units were up about 12.5% year over year and value is up about 12.6% year over year. So really positive results above three point, above 3,000 Swiss francs as we had last month. But if you move down one category to the 500 to 3,000 Swiss franc um, price ring, you, I, we saw positive results there as well year over year. So units were up 8.4% and value was up 10.5%. 10 so again, um, this is a really positive result and probably led to that sharp increase in uh, Swiss watch exports by about 9.4%. It's really nice to see that watches from 5,000, uh, above 5,000 did well in units and value. Um, however, if you look below 5,000 or 500 Swiss francs, we saw negative results, which we've seen a lot recently. Um, again, I think this is mainly driven by the fact that individuals don't have as much disposable income as they, they did. Um, you know, we're reaching kind of the end of the economic cycle. So perhaps people are holding on to cash a little bit more. Also January's, you know, after the holidays. So it's probably not a, a big spending spending month. I would say probably that 500, 3,000 Swiss franc, that's probably a lot of 
um, watch boutiques and the like who are kind of getting their inventory ready for the next year. Um, if you look at overall the total, we're looking at value going up by about 10.1% year over year, which is a positive thing, which means basically um, every watch that is sold has kind of increased in value, which I think is a testament to um, how, how watches are doing as an asset class, if you consider it an asset class. Um, so positive results there. However, units fell about 4.8%. So people are buying less, um, but the value of them are increasing. That might be a little bit of a, <clears throat> of a dichotomy there. So we, we're gonna wanna keep, keep track of that because if people aren't buying as many, um, people are essentially holding on to things that are, um, the value of them are, are, are increasing. It, it doesn't correlate um, well. So um, we'll keep an eye on that. Moving on to the, the main markets, we can see that um, the United States led the way with uh, 205 point, 206 million Swiss francs uh, worth of exports, which was up 15% year over year. They, that, that accounted for about 11.5% of the market. But you can see that the next, the next four uh, are all in the Asian markets, so Hong Kong, China, Japan, Singapore, all coming in around um, between 100 and 200 million Swiss francs worth of exports. And that accounts for about 36, 34%, I guess, 34% of um, the, the, the market there. And then United Kingdom coming in last with just around 100 million worth of exports. So these six markets are about 50% of the total watch exports. Like I said, the four um, Asian market Asian markets um, here account for about 34% of all Swiss watch exports. Now, I think this is where we can kind of transition into what's gonna happen with the effects of this coronavirus. I think the coronavirus are going to have an impact um, on February's results. Um, people are, you know, the markets in, in Asia are kind of stalled because of this, because we don't really know what to do about this disease. There is no cure. It's kind of, um, you know, lack of information when it comes to this thing. So, you know, 34% might, it, 34% of the, the Swiss watch exports, I think, is going to be affected just within this top six markets. These, these markets are gonna, definitely going to be affected by, by this coronavirus. <clears throat> and I wouldn't be surprised if we had um, negative results uh, for the month of February just because of the effects of this coronavirus. It's going to be interesting to see, um, especially with um, the Asian market being such a huge part of Swiss watch exports. Um, so um, those are the main markets. Obviously, these are the main markets to start the year as well. So. Um, this kind of gives you a, a good view. I think this was overall a really great result for the Swiss watch, Swiss, Swiss watch um, industry. You know, positive results f from January. Unfortunately, I think the coronavirus is going to lead to some negative results that are going to take, take place in February. We'll find that out next month and be sure to report on that. <clears throat> um, uh, if you haven't seen our report for December, um, check it out. We, we have a, um, a playlist with the videos where we create um, our, our, where we discuss the Swiss watch, watch export numbers. So check those out. Um, we'll write up. We'll have a full write up on our on our blog if you want to check that out as well. Um, I think this um, start the year off uh, on a very interesting note. Um, you know, trending positive. We're probably going to see negative results with this coronavirus. The, what what I'm kind of you know apprehensive of is I don't actually know how long this is going to kind of have an effect on. Um, on these export numbers, uh, you know, as of right now, which it's the it's the twenty third of February when I'm filming this, you know, right now there is no no cure for for this disease and it's continuously spreading. I think the the death toll is up to about I'm rounding here, but I think about two thousand five hundred individuals. Um, so it's continuously rising. I don't think we're making any strides. Well, we don't. We're not. I haven't seen any public strides in in. Being able to contain this and also cure it so it's going to be interesting to see how far it's how long it's going to affect um the the swiss watch export numbers again this is me this is this is me um trying to uh you know i i am brainstorming what i think is going to happen within the next couple months but when it comes to swiss watch experts this is not set in stone let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen in february with the effects of the coronavirus and and also just macroeconomic trends We'd love to hear about it. Um, if you made it this far and you haven't already, be sure to smash that like button for us. It really does help us out. Um, I think these are useful for people who are trying to keep um, a pulse of the Swiss watch exports, uh, Swiss watch industry, but also export numbers. So, and this can probably drive a lot of other 
um, economic factors that you can you can take a look at. So I think this is really helpful. I I'd love to get this to other people. Also, if you are new to the channel, welcome to Life on the Wrist. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. It's right by that like button. So it's not going to take very long to, to drag your mouse or move your finger over to it. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. And with that said, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time.